Nintendo Switch. It's 8.16 in the morning. The store where I ordered from does not open until 10 o'clock. So I've got a little under two hours to get my life affairs in order before you do not see me again for another week or so. Can you hear what I'm hearing? No. <laughs> Today is going to be a good day. We don't even, you don't even need to drive with hands today. Okay, now to get home without getting into a horrific accident. We can do this, we can do this. Let's go. What a day, what a glorious day it is. Shablow, shabloom. Ba-boom, okay. Man, this has been a long wait, here we go. Choo-choo, woo! Everything is visible, oh my goodness, oh. Oh, come on, son. That is crazy. Wow, that looks so cool. It's, wow, these are small. Wow. Oh man, we gotta slide it in. Let's slide it in. Oh, satisfying. Oh man, oh, come on. Yo! <laughs> man, you know, technology is really fun. Oh man, that feels fantastic. Oh, buttons are nice. Well, I look really disheveled right now. Wow, that is great. Really big contacts on that cartridge. Oh, KK slider? Come on, son. I think what's striking me most right now is how nice the unit itself actually feels. Everybody has been saying that it's like super small and smaller than they thought. This is actually the exact size that I thought it would be. Okay, I'll report back in later. This thing. Somebody asked me a while ago, I said, what would it take for the Nintendo Switch to be your favorite console of all time? And I said, it's impossible because the Super Nintendo has too much nostalgia. The only thing that it'll take for this to be my favorite system of all time is if they put Super Nintendo games on here. I was just telling uh, some of my friends, I was like, nobody's ever accused me of understating things. <laughs> but this, this hardware is amazing. You know, nobody's done a good job of, of telling you just how amazing this little piece of hardware is. Or maybe they have and I haven't been listening. Oh my God, amazing. And this game, this game, you know what this game is like? Have you ever had that experience where you meet a girl for the first time or a guy as the case may be? And you're just like, when you meet them, you're like, where have you been? Like, who are you? Like, I want to know everything about you. And like, there's so much possibility and mystery all rolled into one right at the beginning. Holy cow, we got to try this thing on the TV and oh. Good Lord. If you are on the fence about this and you don't have the money to spend, do not go try one out because you will immediately get one. <laughs> and if you're on the fence and you have the money, what on earth are you doing watching this video? Go now. One, two, switch is all about looking each other in the eye as you play. One, two, switch. Steady. Fire. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got that one. Fire! Gotcha! Nice. Ooh. Nice. Oh! Oh, there's a ball! Net! Ooh! Boy! Try one more time. Okay, try one more time. You're like, you're supposed to be doing this with the like, do That's how you know when to swing. Okay. You were just going. <laughs> Rally. Start. That's right how we're supposed to be listening to. Okay. And. Point. Sure. I literally okay. don't understand what the confusion is. <laughs> and. Oh, <laughs> right. 
Let's play. So this is not a review of the Nintendo Switch, but these are my initial impressions. So first off, the quality of the system is much improved over the Wii U. The Wii U was like a Fisher Price toy almost. This feels solid, the weight is good, the materials feel good, the quality of the screen is excellent. Where the PlayStation Vita had the ability to emulate console games because it had full controls, it didn't have a screen that was quite big enough that would handle it. This screen is the perfect size for it, it's fantastic. The number one thing that this system has going for it is ease of use and intuitiveness. When I first got Zelda, I popped the card in and I was playing right away. I didn't have to wait for updates, I didn't have to wait for installations, it just worked right away. And in this modern era of gaming, that is such, such a relief. Docking the system and undocking the system is super fast, intuitive, super easy. And it works just as well as they say that it does on all the commercials and all the videos that you've seen. It really is that simple. It's great. The actual feel of the controllers is excellent. The analog sticks are plenty big to actually feel like a real console experience. No complaints there. And on that note, the Pro Controller is fantastic. It's really great because in Zelda they have motion controls so you can aim with the controllers. And it's crazy how intuitive it is. You just start doing it without even realizing that you're doing it. Overall, I'm very positive on the system as a whole. It has that ease of use and that convenience and just like that pick up and play feel to it that I like long for. So I wanna just get into it. I hate having to wait, install updates, do all this. Granted, that might all happen with this system as well. But for at least right now, it has that mobility and that lightness to it that is just, Okay, so concerns so far. The lack of a cross D-pad is kind of like a, a loss because for games like Shovel Knight, on a Pro Controller it's fantastic, you get to use the D-pad. But on this, you have to use the analog stick, which is okay, but I would have preferred there to have been a cross D-pad. The headphone jack is not loud enough. I knew it wasn't going to be. Nintendo systems never have loud enough headphone jacks. It's at max volume right now and it's comfortable. The screen is too small for tabletop play. So when you have the system just sitting there and you're playing like this, unless it's like a 2D game like Shovel Knight where it's the fairly simple graphics, it's too small to be able to see what you're doing. Like in Zelda, I really have to go like this because there's a lot of fine detail in there and like the text is barely readable from where I'm at right now. But actually what I just did right there, that kind of like shows you how convenient this system is. I literally just picked up the controller and started playing. Now the screen could get scratched when you keep docking it and undocking it. There's two points of contacts and they're on these corners at the bottom here. Already you can see some scuffing. It's not scuffing but you can tell that something's rubbing against it and I could wipe it off real quick but over time that could definitely develop scratches and I've seen online some journalists that have already gotten scratches. One really surprising thing is that these little controller extension things. There's a couple of problems with it. I really do not like these things. The feel of putting them on is terrible, but taking them off, it's like a battle to take these things off. Ow! Taking these off just now, I accidentally closed the game and I didn't even mean to do that. Also, you don't even slide them in the same way that you slide it in on the system. On the system, you slide it down like that. And on this, you slide it up. And that just seems like a really big design hole. I don't know why you would do that. It, uh, and they're really hard to take off. It's weird. And you can put them on the wrong way. And they get stuck if you put them on the wrong way. Anyways, those are my first impressions. You can probably find like one million impressions online right now, so I won't belabor the point too much. Overall, I'm very excited about it. The big takeaway though, this is the biggest takeaway, is that this type of having one device that works on any display is the future. That is where technology should go. They've been talking about it for years. It's called convergence, where all of your devices will just be combined into one thing. I don't know if it'll actually go this way, but I would like it if it went this way, to where you have one device and it interacts with any display and can kind of like just be your everything device. It's funny that that added convenience makes playing the games feel like less of an investment, and so it's more fun to play them. It doesn't feel like you're taking away from some other part of your life. Right now, if you like technology, you like Nintendo games, and especially if you like Zelda, this is a no-brainer. If you just like video games, and you're kind of like, oh, I'd like to get a game eventually, wait until Mario Kart comes out, 
then get one. Overall though, I think it's fantastic. Oh, one more thing, one, two switch. That should have been a pack-in, period. It does not justify the $50 price tag. It is fun and it does show off some cool stuff, but it absolutely should have been a pack-in. No question about that. Okay, uh, those were my impressions of the Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Up a gun. Straight. Straight. 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 Up